David, with the Coors Field effect, two runs and in six innings is probably pretty strong stuff from a starting pitcher. What did you make of what Steven gave you tonight? No, he was, uh, you know, after the first inning, he settled down. He was, he got really, he was really good. I mean, he used all his pitches really well, um, and he kept us in the game. And um, you saw Steven really, uh, really pitch well tonight. The, the way that he finished out the season once he was healthy, um, how significant in the bigger picture do you think that is for him? Well, I think it's it's good for his mindset going into going into the winter. Um, I know he's going to work the diligent leader to, to uh, get healthy, get stronger, and uh, come back in 2019 and be ready to go. Is there any satisfaction or knocking off a playoff team? You know what? It's, it's for me. It's, uh, you compete every day, you know, and you just want to win, you know. And I'm proud of the guys coming out there today and uh, competing and playing really well. What did you see from Doolittle there at the end, and, and what in particular made you decide to pull him? Well, he, I didn't want, he threw 25 pitches. That was a big thing. So, you know, and he was just, you know, <laughs> he made a joke. He said it was the altitude. But, um, you know, I just I didn't want him to throw too many pitches. He said he was, he was fine. He hasn't been out there in like five days. So I wanted to make sure I, get, I got him out there, uh, you know, he'll be ready to go tomorrow. But no concerns physically or anything? No, he's fine, yeah. What have you guys liked about the way Soto's going to close out this season? He's been he's been outstanding since we got him, you know, on day one. I mean, like I said, um, his maturity for a 19-year-old is uh, beyond his years. So, you know, uh, and he's only going to get better. I really believe that. I mean, because he, he's so passionate about the game. He loves the game. He loves to play. Uh, you know, I took him out the last inning, and he wanted to finish the game. And I said, can, can I please take you out just one time, <laughs> you know? And uh, he said, okay, you know. But, um, he, I mean, I, I, I love – being with him. I love being at the ballpark, having conversations with him. I mean, he's fun to be around. Max will start tomorrow, and then do you, at least the guys who are healthy, you're going to play everyone and try to treat it like a normal game? Well, we, you know, we talked before the game, and um, we're actually going to start Fetty. Um, you know, it was a decision between myself, Rizzo, and Max. And I really feel, you know, hey, Max did his job. You know, he pitched through 220 innings. And if anybody knows Max, um, he gets it all he got every, every time he goes out. So, you know, I, I want to make sure that he has uh, finishes up, finished up the way he did, has a healthy uh, winner, comes back ready for 2019. I mean, I understand the integrity of the game, but both teams are in it, you know. So um, I got to take care of, you know, my player, Max. Health being the, the predominant reason there. Well, I mean, like I said, he's had 220 innings. He's been in the postseason now for, for years and pitched. So, um, you know, he needs a break too. I mean, he does. And, and uh, you know, we talked to him before the game and we just decided, you know, be best that he doesn't pitch. Did he lobby to pitch or was he okay with that? He, I mean, he was okay. I mean, you know, like I said, that last game he pitched, you know, he got his 300 strikeout and he left it all out there. And, um, you know, we asked him, you know, if, if it meant a team be, being knocked out, being eliminated, or um, would he pitch? He said, absolutely. And, uh, and then today, you know, you know, with both teams being in, in the playoffs, you know, I, I told, you know, we sat down and told him it was enough.